Welcome to the big brain, relax and learn, while I play XCOM 2 and talk about a topic that is loosely related to the game, and actually, no, maybe probably a little bit more related than, than most people would like to admit. Terrorism. <laughs> because we are playing terrorists, in, in, at least to the aliens in XCOM 2, we are the terrorists. Now, some would argue that the, the aliens are the terrorists, or are you the terrorist, or are we all terrorists? That's what we're going to learn today on The Big Brain, while we discuss the definition of terrorism. What is a terrorist? What are the problems with def defining terrorism? And some of those other issues. So join us, won't you, while we play XCOM 2 and talk about terrorism. So let's get our class handed to us. So first thing we're going to do is watch the opening cutscene to XCOM 2, because there's a little bit in there that I want to talk about. So bear with me, watch through it, because it's actually super relevant. Continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. What was interesting about that, right, is you just you just witnessed kind of like a whole lot, so we could break it down sort of. But when it comes to uh, defining terrorism, okay, what is terrorism? It's really hard to define, and there's a whole bunch of problems. Why do we want to define it, first of all? The reason we want to define it is because we want terrorism to meet, to target, you know, terrorists and avoid targeting other people. The advent clearly doesn't care about that. Because as you saw in that little opening video before I hit press key to launch, they were making preemptive arrests of known collaborators, right? People who haven't done anything wrong, but to the advent are considered terrorists or terrorist sympathizers. So we need, the trouble with defining terrorism is you need it to be specific enough to get at the right people, but not so broad that it encompasses everybody. Problem is, is that terrorism is a social construct. Or at least the word terrorism has a lot of like weight to it that has been placed on it by us as humans. And really, who are and who are not terrorists is really dependent upon who is defining the term. One person's terrorists, the advent, who consider us terrorists, right? These, these group of four people with the, like, of course, and we like, you put this mask to make sure that the, to make it look like, oh yes, you're in stealth mode, but it like, it makes you look like criminals. This small group of people, the advent considers terrorists, but to the people who maybe resist the advent, we are freedom fighters and both can be true simultaneously. And that's why we're getting into the definition of terrorism. So let's get into the action now. Let's take our band of freedom fighters, which is what we will call them, and and do what, what we need to do, which is blow up this monument. Here's the thing, right? We're, we're all about defining terrorism. Is this considered a terrorist act? Well, the problem is, is that the word terrorism has changed over time as we take our first man and send him. We're actually, we're going to stay up here. Take you, good sir, and go this way. I want eyes. I want eyes. I can't go there because they will see me. But let's just go here. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, good. Anyways, terrorism has changed over time. Or at least the word has. The meaning of it has. The f first time the word terrorism was used was actually way back in 1789 during the French Revolution. Maximilien Robespierre who was the head of the kind of provincial government at the time, this was like mid-revolution, decided that he didn't like anybody who was of the mind of trying to restore the monarchy. And so what he did is he led a campaign of terror, the first time the word was used, against French citizens that he believed were um, a threat to his power or his revolution. Um, this is where the guillotine and all of that uh, fun stuff comes in. Fun stuff, like Jesus. Maximilian Robespierre and the provincial government, they executed a reign of terror, is what it was called. And the reign of terror lasted for two years, something like that. 
that was the first definition of terrorism, though. Terrorism was used to describe the actions of a government against its people. All right, so we need to start doing stuff. It looks like we could actually probably start the attack. So maybe what we'll do is move this guy. Try and get him move. Why can't you move? Sir, please. We're just going to have you... We're not going to kill you. No, we want everybody in position first. So we're just going to do... What's this? Overwatch. Fire the first enemy that moves your lines, but only if revealed. Yes, please. Here's good. We're going to do that. You can see our target. We're going to move this guy up to here. Please don't get revealed. Please don't get revealed. Please don't get revealed. Word. And we're going to leave her there and we're going to move her up later. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to start our attack. Because our second definition of terrorism, right? Or the, the time that, after a time, right? 1789 was the first time that terrorism was used. But again, it was used to describe the actions of the government against people. The first time it was used to define the actions of a people against a government was in 1807. And it was when Spanish guerrillas were fighting against the occupying French forces. Uh, of Napoleon Bonaparte. And how did they do it? Well, much like we're going to do right now with explosives. We did terrorism, guys. We did terrorism. But now we've been revealed, which is, I mean, good and bad all at the same time. So we're going to keep you there. Can I put you on Overwatch? Yeah, we're going to put him on Overwatch because there are going to be bad guys coming. So. The Spanish guerrillas, ooh, there they are, against the occupying French forces, much like we did. Small groups using unconventional warfare tactics against a much more powerful and technologically uh, superior force. How it worked. So that was that was when it kind of took on the term as we know it now. Come on, buddy. After that, it was a slew of people fighting against governments um, using terrorist tactics. You had the Radical Democrats in 1848, right? The Socialists and the Communists and all of that. Uh, that led into the revolutions of the late 18 and early 1900s, like the Russian Revolution and the overthrow of empires. And this was really where terrorism as we know it today came to be. And that's how the definition of terrorism has changed over time. But what is the definition that we use today? Well, here's the problem. There really isn't one. <laughs> because, like I said, it is a cultural... Uh, mm, yes, we, we can do that. We're going to move this guy here, and we're going to start shooting. Oh, no. I didn't know he was on Overwatch. It is a context-sensitive, if you will, concept. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out real quick. No, first, what we're gonna we're gonna take the shot. Take it, take it, do it. Don't miss. You piece of shit. Let's try this. Let's do it. Sixty-five. Come on. America. We are the Spanish guerrillas. We are the radical Democrats. Um, we're gonna do this. Don't you miss. Yeah. Just run. Just run, 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 run. And we're good. Yeah, move, buddy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are we going to define terrorism? Damn it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The way we're going to define terrorism, we have a couple rules that we need to follow. First of all, does the act that we're defining as terrorism need to be criminal in nature? Obviously, what we're doing here, murdering people and try attempting to blow up a monument, can be considered criminal. You're going to do this. And I know you're hurting, but you're going to throw a grenade. Because grenades don't miss. You are going to go plant this. And then can I, can I, yeah, we're going to plant that, plant that X4. The second rule, do civilians need to be the target or not? Or can you somehow define the type of person or target that needs to be targeted, right? We are not targeting these civilians. We're leaving them alone, right? Um, do we need to target them to be considered terrorists? And then finally, 
does an attack on a military target count as terrorism? So those are the three general rules, right? We may be including t terms that are far too specific for that we need. This chick is in danger. She's gonna die. Come on, just get super lucky. Oh, wait. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Hmm. Grenades. So I've planted the thing. Can I? Can I grenade him? I can. Oh, I've saved her life. Just grenades. Uh, the thing you need to do about this game is that grenades solve all problems. It's also a good life lesson. We can't use those the, 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 any of the terms that we use. It's too specific. As we see, we've killed everybody. We've killed enemies. So none of our soldiers are wounded. All of that. It was an excellent rating. Nice. So what is the definition? What is a good definition we can use? Well, I posit this definition for terrorism. Use or threatened use of force against innocent victims for political purposes. It meets all four of our rules, right? It discusses whether military targets need to be um, included or civilian targets need to be included or if it needs to be a criminal act, right? Use or threatened use of force. It's not super broad, but it's also not too specific, right? Um, force needs to be used. Words alone aren't enough. All right, we can't. We couldn't have just come in into this and and yelled at the advent and said, "We hate what you're doing. You're a bunch. You know, your your policies are bad and you should feel bad." Kind of thing. Your music's bad and you should feel bad. Now, arguably, uh, our attack was on soldiers, but did those soldiers directly harm us? Was it in self-defense? Did those soldiers do something untoward? Now, we, of course, don't know within the context of the game, but if they didn't, that arguably meets that definition. But it can include so soldiers, and it can include civilians. And then for political purposes, it provides a motive, right? If it's for the point of making a point, like this clearly was, it meets the definition of terrorism. Use or threatened use of force against innocent victims for political purposes. Adequate definition of terrorism. And using that definition of terrorism, we will continue on to discuss terrorism in further videos. And so now, you know what the definition of terrorism is, and you know why we have to define it in kind of a vague sort of way. The definition of terrorism has been nebulous over time and is hard to define currently, and will forever be hard to define. But as long as we follow a few simple rules and look at history, I think you should be able to identify who are terrorists and who aren't. Thank you for joining me for another Big Brain lesson. If you like this sort of thorough discussion, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving a like, maybe throwing a comment in there. We also do these lessons every Monday night over at twitch.tv slash so make sure to follow over there. Once again, thank you for joining me on the Big Brain. I am your professor, FP Eskra. Class dismissed.